Namaste. I've been receiving uh, certain queries on the newly applicable audit trail. So I thought to uh, give my views on the same to this very short video. As we all know that uh, for the financial year commencing on or after 1st April 2023, for all the companies, it is mandatory that those who are preparing the books of accounts through an accounting software have to ensure that it is maintained in the proper audit trail system. <clears throat> First of all, with what is a company? Because I have been receiving certain questions, is it applicable to LLP, proprietorship, partnership? No, it is applicable only and only to a company which is registered under the Companies Act, either 1956 or 2013, whether a private company, a public company, unlisted company, listed companies, and even a very, very small company having a nil transaction. But those who are maintaining their books in the accounting software. So another question which is coming, is it possible that a company can maintain its books of accounts manually? Yes, it can maintain. It is applicable only for those companies who are maintaining their books of accounts through an accounting software. Now, one question which is coming is that, what is this books of accounts? If we talk about the company's accounts rules, rule three, it says that for books of accounts and other relevant uh, books and uh, other relevant documents, you, have, you the company can maintain the books in an electronic mode. However, it's provision. The first, the first, it's first provision. It says that in case the books of accounts are maintained electronically, it should be in such a way that uh, the records are there in an audit trail for each and every transaction, creating an edit log of each such change made in the books of accounts along with the date when such changes are made and also ensure that the audit trail is not disabled. So two things that the audit trail, the, the recording is for, audit trail is for each and every transaction and it's change, that it log for the change. And secondly, that audit trail is not disabled. So it should, it should be applicable for the whole year. Now, what are the books of accounts? If we talk about it is again defined under section two, subsection 13, which gives about four items. First is that uh, about all items of uh, uh, money which are received and expended. Second is uh, for all sales and purchases. Third is for all assets and liabilities. And fourth is of course where the cost records are applicable to the cost records. So first of all, you have to identify that which all uh, items, transactions are containing in the books of accounts. For example, figures of register, PP register, yes, because you have to maintain the record for the assets. Or stock register, yes. For the payroll, yes. These are all uh, for coming covered into all the, th the, the first three items. So if you are maintaining that on a software, accounting software, electronic mode, if it is an electronic mode, then it has to be an accounting software having a uh, uh, audit trail. Now, one of the very important question which is there, <clears throat> what is the periodicity of maintaining the books of accounts? <clears throat> there is no specific law <clears throat> that it is maintained. It is always preferred to be maintained on a daily basis, always recommended. But there could be a cases for the small entities, small companies or not having many transactions, maybe a few transactions or say uh, 10, 15 or 5, 6 uh, at the end of the year. So it is not that they cannot maintain their books on a monthly basis or yearly or I would say half yearly or periodic basis or yearly basis. They can. But the only thing is whatever they are maintaining, <clears throat> that should be containing a log for each and every transaction. And that 
transaction, if there is any change, that log has to be there. The provision of uh, the rule 5 of the company's accounting uh, accounts rules, it says that in case the books of accounts are maintained in an electronic software, accounting software, then the backup thereof, backup thereof has to be maintained in a server located in India on a daily basis. So backup has to be there on a daily basis. So if the accounts are maintained, say, say uh, sale and purchase are done on a month, uh, on a daily basis or whatever the periodic, periodic, periodicity is that you have made the sale or purchase, it has to be there. Bank someone may do, say, at the end of the month, fine. Cash, again, uh, can be done uh, whenever the cash book, the, the, the details are there and you make an entry. But the main important thing is that if there is any change, that change has to be properly locked. So, of course, it is always preferred to have the accounting on a regular basis. It cannot be haphazard that one entry you made and sometime another entry you at some time no. But have that period periodicity and for the smaller companies, whatever periodicity it is defined by the management, do it. For the auditors, they have to be very careful that the the reporting under Rule 11G of the company audit and auditor rules, they have to report even for the financial year 22-23. And for that, the ICAI through its Audit and Assurance Board has brought a very nicely implementation guide. So one should very carefully, the auditors should very carefully read that implementation guide and report accordingly. I hope some of the issues on the audit trail I have tried to clarify this very small video. Thank you very much. Thank you.